We all know that beyond Earth's atmosphere, there is space, which is incredibly dense and shrouded in darkness. In this space, many satellites orbit the Earth, facilitating communication and information dissemination on our planet. However, have you ever wondered how far space begins after Earth's skies? Is there another boundary? If not, in today's video, we will learn about the starting point of space from Earth's skies. So without further ado, let's begin this fascinating video. What is space? Before we delve into the distance from Earth's skies at which space begins, we need to understand what space is and how it appears. During the day on Earth, space is not visible due to the brightness of the sun's light. However, in the absence of light, we start to see numerous stars in the sky. These stars exist during the daytime as well, but are not visible due to the sun's intense brightness. Space is a place where various celestial bodies, stars, and different planets exist, whereas the Earth's sky is the area that is entirely empty. In addition to celestial bodies, space contains low-density gaseous particles, including hydrogen and helium atoms. It is filled with dark matter and dark energy, and various metallic elements emit their signatures constantly. Therefore, venturing into space and conducting various exploration missions, there is considered a very challenging and adventurous task. How far is space from Earth's sky? This is a question with a very complicated answer. The structure of Earth is such that its atmosphere is very dense and extends for kilometers upon kilometers. This atmospheric layer is known as the ozone layer, which shields humans from harmful solar radiation along with various celestial bodies and minor planets. However, identifying the point where Earth's atmosphere ends and space begins has led to differences of opinion and ongoing research among scientists and space agencies worldwide. NASA, the American Space Agency, believes that space begins when the pressure drops to less than one pound per square foot, equivalent to 0.00048 bars. According to NASA, this occurs at an altitude of approximately 81 kilometers above the Earth's surface, marking the beginning of space. Following NASA's theory, the Kerman line was established as an imaginary boundary beyond which space begins. However, after the introduction of the Kerman line, aerospace engineer Theodore von Kerman proposed a new study challenging this idea. He suggested that space begins at approximately 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Von Kerman's theory indicates that any spacecraft or rocket needs to achieve orbital velocity to travel and maneuver beyond this point, eliminating the need for excessive force to overcome atmospheric drag. Consequently, the Kerman line was proposed as the boundary that separates Earth's atmosphere from outer space, set at an altitude of 100 kilometers. Despite the creation of the Kerman line, ongoing research continues to explore the complexities of space's starting point. This raises questions about how Earth's environment, which extends for thousands of kilometers, can be confined to just 100 kilometers. The significance of the Kerman line lies in the fact that beyond this point, any spacecraft or satellite relies on orbital velocity for navigation rather than raw power. In conclusion, you now have a better understanding of how space is defined and where it begins from Earth's skies. If, in the future, you successfully reach an altitude of 100 kilometers above Earth's surface, you will indeed have the opportunity to witness space with its multitude of stars and profound darkness. However, please be cautious, as this region is also populated with numerous satellites. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.